All right, let's work on calculating the area of a few trapezoids here. The formula for the area of a trapezoid is area is height times uh, base 1 plus base 2 over 2. Okay, but what does all that mean? Uh, let's go back to the definition of a trapezoid. A trapezoid, trapezoid is a four-sided polygon with at least one pair of parallel sides. The parallel sides are, are called bases, so, you know, base 1, base 2. Um, a lot of times they're going to be different lengths. So, um, you know, if they're the same length, then it would be a, uh, what is that, a parallelogram. Um, but, uh, you know, if you're dealing with trapezoid problems, usually it's going to, the bases are going to have different lengths. So what this means is um, the area is the, the height, which is the distance between the two bases, between the two parallel sides, um, times the average of the base lengths. So base 1 plus base 2 divided by 2. If you want to average two numbers, you add them up and divide by the number of numbers, which would be 2. So uh, you can think of the area of a trapezoid as just base times height. But since the bases have, there's two different bases with two different lengths, you have to average the, the bases first before you do base times height. So we're going to look at three examples here that will get slightly more difficult, a.k.a. slightly more fun uh, with each step. First one here, we've got a trapezoid. Uh, with base 2, a base 8, and a height of 12, a distance between the bases of 12. So that's all the info we need. We don't need anything else. So we can just plug and chug. We don't really even have to think about it. So area. The problems where you don't have to think, to me, are not terribly interesting. Um, two, so base 1 plus base 2. And I imagine you are probably the same way. Um, okay, so here we go. The height, this is between the bases, uh, times the average of the bases. 2 plus 8. Divide, why did I say divide by 10? Divide by 2. Um, I think that's binary for 2. Maybe not. Um, I just was thinking 10 because I was adding these in my mind already. Okay, so 2 plus 8 is 10. Divided by 2 is 5. Times 12 is 60. So the area would be 60, um, I didn't name these units, let's just call them units, 60 units squared. Okay, just plug and chug. Uh, what about this type of situation? I, I know the length of the two bases, and I know the length of the two uh, sides, the non-parallel sides. I don't know the height. Don't be confused into thinking that this is the height. This is not the height, this is the length of that side. The height is the distance between the bases. So, you know, this, that's the height. So it's a different thing from that side length. Um, but we can use this information to figure out the height first. Okay, so these non parallel sides are congruent, you know, four and four, which means this is a regular trapezoid. So we can use that advantage to our. Or use that fact to our advantage. Um, so what I'm doing here is I am constructing two little right triangles. Um, so uh, what you can see is uh, actually, by the way, you know, I could I could flip this triangle over and then move it here and it match up and it make a rectangle, which is why. Um, it makes sense to say that the area is, is base times height. You know, if you take that to mean the average of the bases. Uh, but in any case, I can. What I'm doing is, I'm I'm thinking, if I if I treat this as a little right triangle, right, this little guy here, uh, if I know this side and this side, I can figure out what this side is. I can figure out the um, the height. And that would be that would be the height of this trapezoid. Um, so how do I figure out the length of this side. Because if I can do that, I've got enough info. Um, you know, just Pythagorean theorem. I'm good to go. Well, since this is a regular trapezoid, um, I know that, you know, if, so if I if I make a little line here from, from that vertex straight down, and from that vertex straight down, these, these are both the height, um, right? So that this this length here is 7. This length here is seven. Uh, let's call this y, and this would also this would be the same length. Right? Y and y 
and then 7. What if you were to add all those up, it would equal 10. So 7 plus 2y equals 10. Uh, so let's solve for the y. Uh, 2y equals 3. Uh, divide by 2, divide by 2. y is 3 halves, also known as 1 and a half. Okay, so this, so let me just draw this little right triangle. Wow, that doesn't, it's not, it's not that crazy. All right, so we know this, the hypotenuse is 4. Uh, we don't know what the height is yet, but we now know that this is 1.5. So, by the Pythagorean theorem, uh, 1.5 squared plus x squared is equal to 4 squared, right? Uh, the sum of the squares of, of the, or the hypotenuse squared is equal to the sum of the squares of the other two sides. All right, so 1.5 squared. Let's do that. 2.25. I'm I maybe was supposed to know that. Oh well. I don't have a whole lot of stuff memorized. 2.25 plus x squared. 4 squared is 16. I do I do know that one. Uh, so subtract 2.25. Both sides 2.25. So x squared is equal to 16 minus 2.25, 16 minus 2.25 is equal to 13.75. And to get x, I can square root both sides. x squared is 13.75, so x would be the square root of 13.75. So let us square root. So about 3.7. Let's call it 3.7. So x would be 3.7. So now I've got uh, enough information. Um, I've got the height and I've got the two base lengths. So um, we've got so the area is is let's, let's switch colors. This is kind of hurting my eyes now. 3.7. So and then I'm going to sum the bases and divide by two. So 10 plus 17. Divide by 2. So 10 plus, uh, oh, sorry, plus 7. 10 plus 7 is 17. Again, I think I'm, I'm thinking ahead too much. 17 uh, divided by 2, which would be 8.5. 8 times 2 is 16, so 8.5 would be, times 2 would be 17. So 3.7 times 8.5. So I've still got the unrounded or mostly unrounded decimal here um, that we rounded 3.7 so I'm just going to multiply that by 8.5 and our area is 31 point some stuff let's round it to 31.5 31.5 units squared alright so that's a little trick if you've got a regular trapezoid um, and then let's look at this one over here. Um, let me actually just move that one, maybe. Okay, so we've got a height of 10, but we don't have either one of the base lengths. What are we going to do? Well, uh, we have this line here, and these congruence marks are saying that this line segment has the same length as this line segment. And same thing over here. This line segment has the same length as this line segment. Meaning, um, this line segment here that's 15 units long is bisecting each one of the, the non-parallel sides, which means it's halfway from, from base to base. Is that making sense? Halfway, halfway. Okay. So if you think about it, there's actually enough information to solve this. Because what what does this what does this mean? Base one plus base two divided by two. That means you're averaging the 
bases, the lengths of the bases. Well, um, you know, so this base, base length is whatever it is. This one is something else. It's larger. But if I were to average them, I would, I would move to the middle point between them. Does that make sense? So, for example, if I have a base length of 10 and a base length of 14, um, the number 12 is halfway in between them, right? I go two units up, and I get to from 10, and I get to 12. I start with 14, I go down two units, I get to 12. So it's kind of like this. 14, 10, 12. It's like that. That's what's going on. So 15 is actually the average of the two bases. So the area is height times the average of the two bases. So 10 is my height. Um, I suppose I should technically mark this as a 90 degree angle so that we know for a fact that this is the height, right? The distance between the bases. OK, a little technicality. Just, yeah. Yeah. OK, um, so height. So the area is height times the average length of the bases. So for this trapezoid, 150 units squared. All right, that'll give you a good head start on a lot of the situations you'll um, come across, and I wish you all the best.